Hello, how are you doing? I'm Nancy Yoner with Love to List and Keller Williams Realty coming to you from the heart of my home live show on Tuesdays at four o'clock. And I'm so delighted to be here with you. I come and I share a little bit of real estate, a little bit of health and a little bit of home. And not every time I talk about all three subjects, but I do try to fit a little bit of that in throughout the month. So, but today I'm not in my kitchen. I am actually uh, up here in my bonus room. And it's uh, a fun room over our garage. And uh, it has like a recreation area, some game area and our workout room. So, oh, hey, Vicki, I'm actually talking about you today. So anyhow, um, I am sorry I'm late. I have been on the phone all, all afternoon and, uh, which is all good. And, um, but I am delighted to be here and talk with you about a subject that, um, I am really passionate about and that is, um, good health and body and motion. I always say, B-I-M, baby, which is body in motion. And uh, so I'm going to talk to you about that. I am going to talk to you a little bit about real estate as well. And then as a reminder, we have our event this Saturday. So first of all, this is the last day to RSVP. We have one slot left and we are doing a charcuterie workshop. And with that, you're going to walk away and having your own charcuterie board to take home with you. And um, a wonderful person, Regina Alvear, is going to be here uh, giving us some tips and tricks on making a really nice charcuterie. And we'll do a little cheese tasting. I will have some light refreshments there. And again, um, you'll do your charcuterie on this. And then we have boxes that you can put this in and carry it home with you. So I'm really looking forward to having it, folks to my home and to my dining room and have a few hours of connecting and uh, it should be fun. So, and I know I'll see you there, Vicki. Speaking of Vicki, uh, we actually have Vicki's townhouse on the market. It is actually in the coming soon status, and which means that no one can look at it right yet. It's coming soon and it'll be on the market this Friday. And the phone is ringing off the hook. Let me tell you something. I know you've been hearing me talk about this, but if you're a seller considering selling and you're thinking you're gonna wait until the fall or next year, I really recommend you to think about maybe putting it on this spring. It is hot, 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 and it's like a perfect storm. The inventory is so low. And so let me give you an example. Hi, mom. The um, I put into our multiple listing service search engine, I put a price between 450 and 510, no other criteria. I didn't put in there about bedrooms or bathrooms or the type of home condo, single family, uh, townhome. And as I am sharing this information with you, there are only four places on the market in all of Leesburg postal address. So that covers both uh, zip codes, 20175 and 20176. So that is unbelievable. So in, uh, the photographer was there today and look forward to seeing those pictures. Vicki did an amazing job getting her home ready for market. And I know it's going to present really well online. So the phone's ringing off the hook without even seeing the pictures. So wait until those pictures come. So Vicki, thank you. Thank you so much for trusting us with this big uh, event in your life. You know, helping people with transitions is something that I have done my entire career. And um, whether people are upsizing or downsizing or right sizing, um, relocating away from the area or locally, you know, transition, it, it's a lot to go through. And I certainly recognize um, the stress and the anxiety that um, sellers have. and. We really try to help them uh, minimize that and try and have a smooth uh, real estate ex experience. And 
Um, the best way that I know to do that is if we do the three P's, which is um, pricing, presentation, and proper pro promotion. So anyway, so I'm sure we're gonna have a good success with Vicki and her home. Um, so a couple of things. Um, you guys know the last 19 months I had my lovely mother-in-law here. And there you go. I had to put some things on hold, which um, my morning routine, I actually put that on hold and put a pause button, which was perfectly fine. Uh, oh, thank you, Vicki. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and so May 1st, I decided, okay, that I have to get my body back in motion. And there are four things that I committed to. And I wanted to talk to you about this because I know people have a really hard time starting something. And I think the key to start something is it does start with a decision, right? You make a decision that this is what you're going to do. And that's kind of half the battle right there. So I made a decision May 1st. I wasn't going to start in April. I was going to start May 1st. And I wanted to implement four things into my morning routine. And it is so critical to have a, a good, healthy morning routine. It really starts your day out. And the four things are, um, I know for some, you're going to be like, really? It's a start. So uh, 15 minute strength training in the morning and uh, a 10 minute stretch and then a, a mile walk. And those are the three body in motion things that I started out with this, uh, this month. And then um, I also do a 20 minute plus uh, review and reflection time. And that is really, really good for your mind. So, you know, you, you want to take care of your physical body. Uh, I believe that you really need to also take care of your mind, your spirit and your soul. And it's like a holistic, uh, approach. So, um, you know, I've shared it with you before, but I do have several little books that I read in the morning. Um, John Maxwell, I love there's this one on leadership principles. And even though I don't have a team, I am a solo agent. I, um, I lead my clients and I lead other people in a business a transaction. And so, you know, having good leadership skills is, I feel, very important. And um, there's a daily read and then there's this um, principles. And they're faith-based. And then I have this uh, morning prayer book for women. And so I read that, which is really good for um, me emotionally and spiritually. And I do um, some journaling. Also, I came across this book, I think it was my mom's, and it's called The Joy of Words. And this has been a really interesting book. Some really um, important people over the over our history. It's like um, some poems or thoughts that some really big people it, like presidents and you know um, scholars have written and this I really enjoying that and then the other thing is is this is a great book and I love learning and because I am in the process of trying to get a book public published at some point so I'm working on that but let me oh and then I'm also doing my journaling so uh, this morning I journaled real quick and then I'll tell you about this calendar behind me um, and so true transformation uh, starts within. And I said, um, enjoy the, in order for me to enjoy the days of my life, number one critical piece is how you start your morning. Um, and it can drastically change your life. Of course, what you put in your body, whether it's food or uh, music or not the news, <laughs> um, what you do is who you are, right? Your actions. And then of course, who you hang out with. So. Those are some little principles that I wrote in my journal this morning. So this calendar back here, um, what I did was is I recorded. And I think having the accountability is really important. And so I recorded when I did all those four things. Okay, so I'm going to share with you the results. The results are in 30 days, today's the 30th, I had 17 days where I did all four. Okay, I had 
seven days that I did three of the four. So maybe I missed the 10 minute stretch or something like that. So between the 17 and the seven, which, you know, basically, um, that is 56% and 23%. So that is 79% of this month. I have had my body in motion and it just feels really good. Um, and I did have five blanks. And when I looked at the blanks, um, there, it was either because I was sick, I was sick for a couple of days, like in bed sick. And then I had a day where I had to go help a client with something that I wasn't expecting. I spent all day there. Um, and that was fine. I'm happy to do that. It was important. And so it's not as though I'm just sitting around the couch having a blank day. So there was some reasons that I, that I wasn't able to. A couple days, I just didn't get it all accomplished, which is fine. So anyhow, so having that calendar accountability, and I have all kinds of uh, uh, kind of fun things up there. Let me see if I can read them to you. Uh, like what you do daily matters. I belong to a, a group of people that work out. That's what that's called. Uh, progress, not perfect. Um, and, uh, work smarter, get stronger, you know, so, um, you have to make life happen. It doesn't just happen to you. So really putting some intentionality into, uh, the workout routine and how you spend your mornings and spend your days. And I think is really important to having a good, um, quality life. So I wanted to share that with you. So Meanwhile, um, I hope you all are doing well and, oh, hey, Joe. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I was, I'm fine now. Thank goodness. Um, uh, my sister isn't feeling very well though. I feel bad for her. She's had a rough, rough month of it. So anyways, um, I want to thank you for popping in and joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you in June. Can you believe it? It's going to be June already. And next Next Tuesday, I will be joining you back into my kitchen and I am going to be making a delicious, delicious um, salad for you guys. You guys are going to love it and something I've made for a long time and it has some orzo pasta in it, but it has a really fun special ingredient that makes it really yummy. So I'll be back in my kitchen from the heart of my home and if I can ever help you guys with a workout routine or uh, any anything that I can help you with to, to have a, a po more positive life, please let me know. And also, of course, real estate. Um, and meanwhile, thumbs up, lots of love, and keep smiling. Okay? All right. We'll see you next week.